Hi guys, so today I want to talk about a topic that I am super, super passionate about, and that is the nurse-doctor relationship. Um, I've made kind of little videos on this, but I want to talk specifically about the nurse and doctor relationship in the hospital setting, or really any setting, you know, outpatient and whatnot. Um, but working in the ICU, it's really given me a new perspective on how important it is for the bedside nurse and the physicians that are overseeing the patient's care to really be communicating well and have that open communication going both ways. I have seen what a difference it makes when you have a good physician or a couple physicians that are open and communicating well with you versus having physicians who are not. And it really truly does make a difference in the patient's care. I know I have a lot of people on here who are nursing students and nurses, but I know I also have some people that watch me that are med students or even doctors. And I think this could be a really good video for all perspectives, not just the nursing perspective. So I hope you guys are open to hearing what I have to say. First, I want to talk about the, um, I don't want to say bad doctors because, you know, there's some really great doctors that are really smart and know what they're doing, but they're really bad at communicating with nurses or they look down on, on nurses and that they're lesser, that we're annoying, that we you know we just come and ask questions. And I want to talk about what, as I, what I have seen as a nurse how that affects patients care when you have a doctor who you know no matter what you go tell them you can tell them that the patient's blood pressure is 60 over 30 and you know they will just not be receptive to it they'll hear you but they'll kind of brush you off or say you know it's fine or you know just not not really I don't want to say give you what you want because you know as nurses it's not like we're like writing the orders but you know we recommend things a lot of times and uh, to go up to a doctor and tell them, hey, this this patient is not looking good, this is what's happening, and for them to just shut you down or just say, okay, like, not like, that's it, okay, like, <laughs> you're not going to say, it's fine, these are the new parameters, or, you know, do this, this, and this, it's, it can be really, really frustrating as a nurse, and I feel like when that happens, it automatically makes nurses not want to approach that doctor for situations. It makes the communication shut down. Um, it jeopardizes patients' safety and care ultimately in the end because if you have an, a doctor that constantly shuts you down or is rude to you or makes you feel belittled, and you're not going to want to go to that doctor for, for things and you're going to be afraid to go ask them questions or bring things to their attention because every single time you've done it in the past they've just like shut you down. That is how you don't want to be. <laughs> but I've also worked with really, really great doctors who have wonderful nurse doctor communication. You can go to them for the silliest thing. And I don't want to say silliest thing because if it's something that you are concerned about and you're going to the doctor, it's not silly. Even if maybe it's not as big of a deal as they thought or whatnot, it's still, it's, you know, it's, it's a big deal, you know, no matter what you go to them with, it should be, you know, respected and vice versa. When doctors, so we go to doctors for things, but they also come to us for things. They come to us on, you know, hey, what was this recent lab value? What is the patient doing now? What's their heart rate doing now? What did cardiology say? What did GI say? What, you know, what's the plan of care? What did social work say? They all, they come to you, you are the center of the patient's care and they want that communication from us and it should be reciprocated. We should be able to go to them and ask them questions because if all it takes is one doctor to explain something to you just a little bit and then it makes you a better nurse for your next patient because if you see the same situation in your next patient, you're going to be like, oh, okay, well, Dr. So-and-so explained this to me, so I have a better understanding. I can be a better nurse now. I can provide better care to this patient because they took that extra 10 seconds to just explain through their thinking process or what was going on. So the nurse-doctor relationship is so, 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 so important. And I really, when you have great communication, it just makes your shift go better. It makes the patient's care go better. It makes just everything better. So if you are a doctor or a med student, and, or a nurse, just anyone, really do your best to keep that communication open both ways and be open. Um, even, if, even if a nurse is new, you want to be even more open so they're not afraid to go and ask you questions. So anyways, I know that was kind of ranty. I actually really want to do a video um, bringing a doctor on 
in my videos to ask them questions personally about ways to keep communication open and their thought processes and things like that. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I am working on it, but it's really hard to get people to come and do videos with me. I've been trying for a while now to get different people and I understand it's kind of weird sitting in front of a camera if you're not used to it. But if you guys are interested in having like maybe a CNA or a respiratory therapist or a doctor or another nurse from a different unit, come on to these videos. Let me know in the comments below because if I could show them and be like, hey look, all these people would love it if you came on and spoke to them and were in my videos, then maybe they would be more willing to because it's really hard to get people to come on here. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.